Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on reverse coding in SPSS. I have your fictitious data set in SPSS data view. I have 11 variables. The first is an ID number. And then I have 10 items. And I've configured these so that they resemble what you would get from a Likert scale. In this case, a six point Likert scale. Oftentimes, Likert scales are used on surveys, and they have responses such as strongly disagree, disagree, somewhat disagree, somewhat agree, agree, and strongly agree. So in this instance, let's say the one represents the strongly disagree, and the six represents the strongly agree. Now, it's not unusual when using surveys with Likert scales that some of the items are reverse coded. So then you're trying to calculate certain scales. Uh, for instance, you would want the six to be converted into a one. So first I'm gonna use item three as an example. Let's say we want to reverse code item three. And we have a couple choices under transform. You can see there's a recode in the same variables option and there's a recode into different variables option. Now, if you have a backup of your data set and you're fairly sure what you want to do and you know how to do it, then the recode into same variables option is preferable. It's more expedient. But if you're uncertain what's going to happen because you're not exactly sure of the process, it's safer to use recode into different variables. This will create a new variable that you can always substitute in for where your other variable was. So let's start with uh, recode into different variables. And we'll go to item three, because that's the one we want to reverse score. So I'm going to call the new variable item three R, the R for reverse. And I'm going to make the label equal to the same thing, item three R. Then I'm going to click change. And you can see over here, now you have item three into item 3R. And then you will click old and new values. In this case, this is fairly straightforward. You have the old value. So the old value is one, the new value is six, and add that. Two changes to five, add that. Three into four, and four into three. and then five into two, and of course your last one is six into the value one. So you can see there's six changes that will be made here. And this will reverse code uh, item three. And it'll create a new variable. So click continue, then okay. See it executes that command in the output view. And you can see now I have item 3R. This is reverse coded. And you can see that where item 3 for participant 1001 was 1, now it's 6. Where it was 4, now it's 3. Where it was 6, now it's 1. So all this has been reverse coded as we indicated in the recode into different variables function. So now I'll give you an example of using the recode into same variables. And let's use, instead of item three, let's reverse code item five in this example. So go to transform, recode into same variable. I'll select item five. And you'll see there's no place to create a new variable or a new label because you're actually gonna be changing item five. So that's why that's missing from this dialog. I'm gonna select old and new values. And again, we'll want the same structure so one and six, two and five, three and four, four and three, five and two, and then of course six into one. So it's the same procedure to reverse code using the same variable. Make sure you have all these added in and they're correct and click continue. And before I hit OK, let's take a quick look at some of the values in item five. And you can see that 
the first one is 5, the next is 4, and the next is 2. So just remember those three values. And let's see if they are in fact reverse coded uh, when I click OK. The code's executed. And you can see now we had uh, 5, 4, and 2. And now we have 2, which makes sense, then 3, and then 5. So this did reverse code uh, item 5. Now this variable is changed. So again, if there was an error made here, you'd have to go back to your backup data set to restore this. So I'd recommend, uh, even though this was um, faster, this accomplished our goal faster, I would normally recommend using the recode in different variables when there's any degree of uncertainty. Uh, that way you can take a look at what the variables look like and see if that's in fact what you wanted to do. This reverse coding was what you wanted to do uh, before committing it to a, a more potentially uh, permanent change. It could be a permanent change uh, in, in your variable. So if you were using the recode in different variables and you looked at it and you decided it was correct and you wanted to commit as a permanent change, you just go to the variable view and in this case item 3, right, just remove it, which would be clear and then you can re rename item 3R into item 3. And of course if you want you could change the label as well. And now you have it so that item 3 has been reverse coded and it has the name item 3. I hope you found this video on reverse coding variables in SPSS to be helpful. As always if you have any questions or concerns Feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.